Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your how do they feel about your reading for September, early October. This is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check your rising moon and Venus signs. As I always say, don't forget to um, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you do leave a comment in the comment box to be entered into the monthly drawing for a free reading. You have to leave a comment though. <laughs> if not, I'm never gonna know. Okay, so winners are always announced on the 31st or the 30th in, in this case, but. All right, so let's see what's going on with Aquarius. How do they feel about you? Heart of the matter, we have the sun reverse, could be dealing with the Leo. So somebody is um, not feeling so illuminated about something. Some, they may feel like they're in the dark. They're not feeling very happy about a situation. Okay, it's crossing or influencing. We have the seven of pentacles. Um, this is someone who's waiting for something. They could be waiting for you, okay? Um, now, this is also, this, your energy too, the energies are interchangeable. So you may be feeling unhappy about a certain situation, could be with a Leo. Maybe like you put a lot of work and effort into it and you're just sort of waiting to see what's going on here, what's gonna come to the surface, what's gonna blossom, if anything. But you may have been waiting quite some time. I'm kind of getting this big energy of waiting for this person. So, got three cards on the situation. The tower, Scorpio energy. Could have experienced a tower moment. Something could have happened in the recent past or could be happening right now. Um, but something is going on here where somebody is experiencing a, a bit of a tower moment. We have the three of cups. This is about reunions. Okay, I'm going to clarify all of these because <laughs> I don't understand this reading already. Let me have the nine of wands. Okay, feeling, um, feeling very wounded, almost like somebody's wronged you in some way. You may be on the defense. Someone could be on the defense, not just you. It could be the other party. Potential outcome. You're the Knight of Cups, somebody coming in to bring a love offer to you. And what's crossing or influencing this card? You have the Five of Wands, so competition. Okay, could be uh, several people in the mix here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, clarify these cards just to get and get an idea of what's going on here. Why is the sun here reversed? We have the seven of wands reversed. Somebody may have been standing their ground, okay? I'm kind of getting like maybe someone was unhappy in a situation they weren't something wasn't coming to light right they may have been standing their ground and being kind of standoffish in the past um but they're unhappy so i i think that there's this energy here where like they are just laying down their wands like okay they're they're being more open to the situation whatever it is it could be you okay someone a little more open to the situation you may have been kind of like standoffish or someone i get like the feeling someone was standoffish because um, you know, maybe they were expecting something and they weren't getting it and now they're not expecting it because it's like, well, I waited a long time here. Maybe it's not coming in. And now they're just, their guards kind of like down now. It's like, you know what? I'm not feeling so resentful. What's the seven of pentacles about? The page of pentacles. Yeah. It was someone, you may have been waiting for this offer. Someone was waiting for an offer to be extended. This could even be like, for me, it's a text sometime. Just sometimes something like um, a small offer could be somebody, could be somebody who's um, younger than you. There could be some sort of age difference here because we do have the page and we, then we have a knight. Um, so I feel like they're, what we've been waiting for, their actions could have been like, okay, very, very small offer, like immature, right? Are they going to mature enough to give us something, right? Um, waiting around for something. And then again, in the action, the, the outcome, we do have the knight, which is a more mature way of coming about when it comes to emotional availability, right? So let's see, why is the tower here? I think something happened in the past, something had ended, 
there's been an ending in this situation yeah there was an ending something happened there was a tower moment something right someone could have experienced a financial loss some sort of something but I, I think it was kind of like a breakup or separation okay there was an ending though definitely a tower moment now we do have the three of cups which is about reunions and happiness coming back together so what's this about it's almost like i think this um, they may want to come back together maybe you want to reunite with them there could be a reunion coming in the, the near future but let's see what's the three of cups about yep it's a reunion it's almost coming back around y'all now this is two reunion cards for me so this is a soulmate past life connection someone that you've dealt with before that they're coming in for sure because we also have the knight of cups so there's going to be a reconciliation and there's going to be a reunion especially if there was a tower moment this is the energy that i'm getting um you've been you may have been like i said this may have ended okay could have been a while that you've been waiting around for this um, and maybe you just let go, right? You just kind of let it go. And for me, this is like letting go of, you know, being like wanting to stand your ground. Like, oh, I have to have this. When it's reversed, for me, it's like letting go. Like, you know what? I'm letting it go. It's okay. I don't need this anymore, right? You don't need to stand your ground on anything. You don't need to, right? Again, could be dealing with a Leo, some of you. Not all of you, though. Could have Leo in their chart. I think you've been waiting for some sort of offer here. Or just like an apology. This could be an apology sometimes, a text. So let's see. Why is the Nine of Wands here? So I think that some of you may have heard from this person already. Maybe they've reached out or whatever. But I also think that um, something's still kind of weighing on somebody. They're still feeling a little wounded in some way. Yeah, there's, again, a reconciliation card. There's This is a card about feeling, you know, I think someone has hurt you in the past and there's this reconciliation energy here. They want to, someone wants to just be friends or like, um, maybe you just want to be friends, <laughs> right? This person is definitely not coming in to be friends though. They're coming in to extend a love offer. We've got two cups here. Then we've got the Knight of Cups. But I think maybe before there was this energy here of conflict, right? Someone hurt you in the past and... Um, you know, you may have tried to walk away. They may have walked away from you, but I think that they want to come back around, reconcile. You know, under the guise of friendship, that's what I'm getting. I think they're going to be like, oh, yeah, let's be friends. But it's not about being friends. This person's going to have not, they're going to still want you. Their feelings never left. I feel like they, they've recognized this. This is someone who recognizes like a deep soul connection. Um, and their feelings have not really gone away. <laughs> Um, but again, there was some sort of ending here. What's the Knight of Cups about? Why is the Knight of Cups here? No, Two of Wands. So someone's been contemplating this. Someone at a distance from you, potentially. They've turned. Someone who's turned their back towards you has been contemplating coming in and bringing you this love offer. Um, you know, it could be some distance. It could be emotional distance, physical distance, but they've been contemplating it. See how he's turned towards hit this? This is his choice. They've made the choice. So, like, I kind of do, like, <laughs> like depending on the way the cards are facing. But I feel like because he's facing this way, this is his choice to come in with this love offer, right? If the choice was like this, then they'd still be contemplating the other way. But, and you know, not doing anything, making any moves. But this person's going to make a move towards you very quickly, I think. I mean, this isn't as fast-moving energy as, like, <clears throat> maybe the... Uh, the Knight of Swords with communication, but this is about love. Scorpio energy for me with this card. Um, so it could be around the time of Scorpio. So look towards end of October, early November for some sort of movement on this. Okay, what's a Five of Wands here? Now, Five of Wands is about competition. There could still be other things going on, um, other people in the mix. There could be a com competition here because we do also have the Three of Cups and Threes. You know what that means. Third, there's another energy here. Um, they could be involved with someone. You could be involved with somebody. But I, I feel like there's other energies in the mix still. So that's what maybe why the, what they're dealing with right now. Then we have the moon, Pisces energy. They could be holding back, hiding something. There could be some sort of secret, some sort of feeling and emotion that's really deep under the surface that they're not bringing to light here. Um, you know, but there's they could have some inner conflict going on. 
with this, trying to figure out how to process these feelings. This could be this as well. Um, but I am getting, I'm getting like a, a bunch of energies here. They could be like talking to other people. Like I said, nothing big, but you know, they're coming back. This person is coming back around. I know people hate to hear that. Like, oh, I don't want this shit energy, right? Like, I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> but this is somebody from your past, I think, that's like, this isn't a bad energy. I don't think this is somebody that you would be upset about if they came back in. I think that you would probably welcome this to be like friends or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, I'm over this. I'm, I'm over this person. They were a great partner. They were like really fun to be around. Why don't we be friends now? Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm getting. I'm not getting this like toxic energy coming in I'm getting like an old soulmate that you know just has really missed you um you know so let's get some blocks see what's going on in their energy if I can get my shit together I'll do my best. Maybe I can like zoom out a little bit. Uh, how's that? Perfect. Perfect. Maybe like turn this this way. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm still not happy with this setup okay <laughs> got it we're good guys okay I mean it was it's basically exactly how it was before so here we go what's blocking this person from being with you what are some themes happening for them blocks we have vulnerabilities exposed this person may be feeling very vulnerable okay Something's being exposed in them. I think they're seeing their own vulnerabilities. Not thinking before you speak, difficulty in staying objective. So we do have moon, quincunx, mercury. Mercury's going into retrograde soon, guys. I think in October. Um, this is about constrained communication. Like they're, they may feel like they can't communicate for some reason. Um, there's something that's strained here with their communications. They're finding it difficult to communicate in some way. Um, they're not thinking before they're speaking, <laughs> okay? It's like putting their foot in their mouth and they're having some trouble saying objective when it comes to a situation. What else? We have affection and warmth, the need to be appreciated. Full moon in Leo, again, could be dealing with Leo, some of you. This is somebody who wants to be appreciated. Um, they may be, like I said, dealing with other people or just, you know, in a situation where they're not feeling as appreciated as they should. Um, they may be thinking about how you appreciated them, etc. Then we have full moon in Aquarius. There you are, Aquarius. We have change, transformation, and healing. This person could be going through some sort of transformation, this sort of ev like evolution right now. I think that they're healing something in them. Um, I do think that there's been a healing energy around them. And, you know, this is something that's going to benefit the two of you when they come back around because, you know, I feel like this person may have evolved a little bit, matured in some way. Um, there's something that's changed in them. But again, I, this was a block for them. So I think before there could have been some, you may question whether or not they're fully changed, they're fully transformed. And if you can trust this person, I think this may be something that comes up for you. Like, okay, well, they were like this before. Have they really matured coming in? Like, can I trust this person? Let's get some clarification. We have past life connection. You met before. Exactly. Just like I said, the six of cups. There's a six of cups right there, right? Um, vulnerability is exposed. It's almost like they know this is a past life connection. I think they've acknowledged this. They're feeling kind of vulnerable right now because whatever situation they put themselves in or whatever happened in the past, they may realize like this is the connection that they want to be in because it's a past life connection. It's special, right? They know that it's special, but something about it makes them feel very vulnerable, right?
What else? We have insecurity. Someone in, is unsure of themselves, and this could be what is affecting the way that they communicate. Okay, they may be a little bit insecure. This person, um, whatever is happening with them in, on the inside, though, it's affecting the way that they communicate, and it could be the way that they've communicated with you in the past. Right, I'm getting kind of past energies here, sometimes like a little bit, like they've been trying to evolve, and it's almost like a timeline for me. Like they realize this connection. Um, but in the past, they've had some insecurity within themselves, so it made them very, um, their communications with you were, I think, kind of strained in some way. There was something that was just not flowing when it comes to communication because of their own insecurities, okay? I think that this person, again, could be a little younger. You could be younger than them. Something about the situation, though, is kind of... Then we have love. There are romantic feelings here. Yeah, so this person still has romantic feelings for you for sure. Like I said, they may come in over the gu under the guise of being friends. Like, oh, I just want to be friends. Let's reconcile, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, they're coming in because they still have romantic feelings for you. They want that. They miss that affection and warmth. See, affection and warmth need to be appreciated. Um, this is somebody who is missing that connection with you. And I think that, you know, their insecurity about coming forward before you know, it kind of affected the, whatever, you know, like, it's just like they didn't come forward because they were insecure, and now they're just like, you know what, I just have to tell them, I just have to do this, so let's see what's full moon in Aquarius about, what's this transformation about, and again, a timeline here, um, where it's like they had to go through all of this to get to this transformation, we have inner child, be kind to your, this aspect of yourself, and let your creativity flow, so this person's been healing like their inner child wounds, right? This is the transformation that they've had to go through all of these things and realize everything along the way to get to this transformation and get into this energy here where they've kind of evolved in some way, right? Um, because like at the end, we, we realize that even though we've got this insecurity, they still have, there's still these feelings here. They still have these romantic feelings. They miss this and, you know, this evolution that they've kind of come into their own and now you know they're kind of trying to get over this insecurity healing these inner child wounds of insecurity or whatever it is you know they're really beginning to I think get that courage to come back around to you and I think that they're willing to be anything you know friends whatever but they want that romantic aspect I'm just telling you throwing it out there so they come back and they're like hey let's be friends there's more to the story. Let's get some messages from them. I may put on <laughs> I may put on a show for others, but I am insecure about this. Again, someone who's insecure, <laughs> insecurity. <laughs> These cards that first cease to abase me. <laughs> like this is somebody who's insecure. Okay, they're putting on a show for others, like they're they're not, but they are. This is someone who's very insecure. Um, or they have been in the past, maybe they, like I said, maybe they worked on that insecurity. Maybe they've made some changes that made them feel more secure. I feel like you were too good for me. Yeah. That can happen when somebody feels insecure, you know? They, they feel like you're better than them. And it's like, why would this person want to be with me? And they act in ways that are kind of like self... It's like they do things to kind of like sabotage themselves, you know? Then we have it's easier to be fake with someone else than be authentic with you and face rejection. So yeah, they, it's like they're craving this romantic relationship with you and the connection that they had. If they're with somebody else now, you know, they're not their authentic self, truly. Like there's something, I think you brought something out in this person that this other party or whoever they've been with since you has not been able to bring out in them their authenticity, exposing vulnerabilities, right? Um, this person is vulnerable with you um no don't no no um so it's easier for them to just kind of put on the show right put on a show for others because you know they've been insecure but they didn't want to face your rejection then we have i feel a spiritual connection with you yeah deep spiritual connection someone with that six of cups you know that six of cups coming back around like they feel it. They feel it and they know it. D they know it with every bone in their body that this connection is something that is not going to be, it's not a casual connection, right? 
So I'm going to get some romantic energies here. I think it's going to be up to you, you know, ultimately to see how you proceed with this person. But this story is not over. Like, you may have thought this was over. <laughs> no, no. No, no. It's not over yet. I see a huge reconciliation coming. A reunion, reconciliation. Like, you may even get back together with this person. So, but we'll see. That's going to be up to you. So let's see. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, you know, the universe is telling you. It's like you can, it's okay to give this a chance. We can work on this. We don't have to walk away from something that may have felt like it was dead. It was gone. You know, you can give this partnership a chance again. And we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, you know, not dwelling on this situation. You know, just kind of being in your own energy really focusing on you is going to bring this person in it's going to attract a lot of people i think but it's definitely going to be um attracting this person not fo don't don't if you know who this is don't focus on them okay that's what i'm telling you is probably the best method and best course of course of action um you know if you have an idea of who this is going to be then don't even focus on them just keep focusing on you right it's but either way you're they're going to come in they're going to come in either way um and when they do, it's going to be up to you whether or not you want to give this another shot because it's going to come out, it's going to come out that this person has ulterior motives and they do want to kind of like start things up again. Okay. And I, I think they're going to come back and be like, let's be friends. And, mm -mm. They want way more than that. Then we have bridges, divine connections, and shortening the physical distance to bring you two together. Distance again, guys. There could have been a physical or emotional distance for some of you, maybe, you know. But somebody's coming towards you, okay? <laughs> somebody's moving towards you, I think. Um, they're, they're making their way back to you to, br like, to kind of shorten that physical distance, right? So let's get another one. Magnifying glass, take a closer look. So, you know, it is telling you to kind of just move cautiously and really um, make sure that you have the whole story before you jump into anything with this person. Just kind of get the whole story. Take a closer look at the situation um, before making any choices. Then we have masculine. It could have been, you know, somebody who's in this masculine energy. They're the masculine. You know, there's two types of masculines. There's a wounded and toxic, ma wounded and, you know, healed masculine. Um, I feel like the shadow and light part of the masculine energy, but the, you know, the masculine is going to make action towards you. They're going to go after what they want. They pursue it. They've got goals, careers, ambition, goals, ambitions, right? But they pursue. The masculine pursues and the feminine receives. Those are the energies, right? So this person's going to pursue you, is what I'm getting. Then we have seduction, romantic surprises, passionate encounters, deep intimacy. The person's going to come in, try to seduce you, charm your pants off, right? There could be a surprise, um, something that you're not expecting from them. It could come in any form, okay? So be on the lookout for something to kind of surface. I'm sorry, I'm trying to grab my cards. I have them on like a little table like right here. So <laughs> I have to grab them all right so let's get some clarification let's see what's happening what's this distance about we have the immersion i'm past the point of no return and i'm giving all my love to you so they know they're coming towards you because they want to this person wants to be with you they want to give their love to you you are the one they realize it it's you know they're coming towards you guys there's no way around it <laughs> then we have the expression. The way you express your individuality makes you more beautiful. Okay. This is coming out under magnifying glass. So it's really about getting the whole story, right? Um, and it may be them just telling you things, just kind of listening to them and getting an idea of exactly what's gone on, what, you know, how they're feeling, right? Um, it is about expressing yourselves, right? Expressing yourselves openly to each other. And to, it's, to do that, you know, it's going to help 
push this forward. It's going to help you communicate better, and I think it's going to bring things to the next level. Even as friends, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be like in a relationship. You can be friends, right? But this is going to help you expressing each other, expressing yourselves to each other. Then we have the secret. I never meant to hide anything from you. So if you thought in the past that this person, they could have been like a wounded masculine in the past, running from their feelings, right? Hiding things. And you may have felt that energy from them, which could have led to that tower moment, right? Um, whatever it was, though, they didn't mean to hide it from you. They didn't mean to do that. They didn't mean to keep anything from you. I think that they were just doing the best they knew how to, you know, <clears throat> in that moment. What's seduction about? The mirror. We are mirroring each other. So I think that you, <laughs> all right, you may not want to admit it, all right, but some of you are definitely mirroring each other um, when it comes to, you know, romance, passion. I think that you both have some passion for each other. You may not admit it, but, you know, you're going to feel it when this person comes back. And if you know who this is, if you know who this person is, I think that you may feel it deep down, okay? Admit it. <laughs> I mean, some of you maybe not, but I think a lot of you are going to have some, like, you know, those deep emotions for this person. Whatever you decide when it comes to this person, either romantic or platonic, you're going to be mirroring each other's feelings. So I, this is what I'm getting. You two, two both have feelings for each other. And you may have given up on this a long time ago. I've been like, oh, this person's never going to, I'll never hear from them again. They're never going to come around. And oh, no. You have not heard the last of them. All right, so we have Let's Grow Old together. Yep, somebody wants, they see the longevity in this. They want to spend the rest of their life with you because they're all in. They're all in. They're coming towards you. They're making their way back to you. What's the expression about? Let's see. Let's get some more messages. We have I love everything about you. Yeah, they, I think that they really enjoy specifically the way you express yourself. Maybe you're very clear. Maybe you're a good communicator. I mean, Aquarians usually are pretty good at communicating because we are air signs. Um, sometimes we can be crazy. Um, just wanted to follow up. We have you are perfect to me. But, you know, air signs are usually pretty good when it comes to communication. Um, not all the time. But, you know, I think that they really like the way that you communicate. I think that they really enjoy listening to you. This is someone who likes to hear what you have to say. So we do have you are perfect for me. This one has come out. Um, you know, no matter what that secret was, whatever they were hiding from you, you may have thought like they, they didn't care about you, okay, that they didn't really like you or they were, they were faking it. But that wasn't the truth, you know. They didn't mean to hide anything from you. And in reality, you are perfect for them. This is how they feel. Then we have true love. Yeah, I think you both know this. You both know this because mirroring each other, right? There's still romance. There's still passion. There's still like romantic feelings here. There's maybe not even romantic. It's just like there's feelings here. There's like a deep connection that you know. You, I think you both know it's true. It's true love. And you can have true love with the best friend. I love my best friend. I think that she's amazing. We're not in a romantic relationship, you know? And she's like my sister. But like that's, you know, it's a, it's a soul bond, Okay. Um, it, it's, I think this transcends many relationships when it comes to that bond that you, you just feel it in, the de like in your bones, the closeness with that person. For this kind of connection, it's like this person is very close resonance to your, your energy because we're all energy, right? And each person, you have to look at it this way. You've got, you know, you've got source energy up here and it kind of trickles down into in individual souls like like the little fingers right and these souls like they all have their own specific energy resonance and their own energetic frequency we all that makes us all individual okay and it's like we seem to, we, a lot of times we'll draw in people who are very similar to what our surface energy is okay like our surface level stuff like you know law of attraction hug staying in a positive vibration but ultimately, we're attracting people who reflect the core beliefs that we have right back to us. And there are some that you meet, and these are your true, true soulmates. These are the people that their energetic vibration is incredibly close to yours. It's very, very similar, right? It's like you're in the same, almost the same frequency. I mean, the same frequency would be a twin flame. But there's some that are so close, you know, and those are the ones that are like these deep, deep, 
deep connections and you you just know it you know it you feel it and the, these are the people that are going to be in your life forever you've shared many you know many lives with them probably so then we have hook up okay now like i said this person i think may want to have a little hook up with you they're going to have these ulterior motives coming in as a friend yeah then we have from a, a year from now so it doesn't mean that they're going to come in a year from now i think that it means a year from now you know we may be getting into a different energy where things can be very different between the two of you you could be in a relationship with them so something is going to be happening in a year from now that's like the situation that it is now it's going to be completely different in a year from now and i don't think that you're going to realize what it is but it's coming out of your true love you're perfect for me mirror masculine seduction you know this i think that there's going to be a big time changes coming in whether or not you decide to accept this person into your life again it's going to be you know it's going to be up to you but i i just feel like there's a big reconciliation coming through and this could be the person that you've been waiting for for quite some time now for some of you yeah it's going to take a year but I, I don't i don't think so i don't think it's going to take a year for them to come in <laughs> i get it more like i, I feel like it's going to be closer sooner so we have one love everything and everyone is connected the joys and sorrows around you are protective of the thing projections of the things you do and don't want use everything as a clue to light the way to your own self journey so this is about loving yourself always keeping yourself you know putting yourself first but you know the things that we are experiencing in our life it's just projection just projections of as within so without what you experience in your outer world it's all about what's happening within within you the happy like the happy highs and the, the low lows and all the events that are happening people you bring in it's all coming down to you know what you believe and what's going on, on the inside so keep that in mind and try and stay in a high vibration then we have boundaries so don't trust people with sacred knowledge right away keep your boundaries up it's a good thing to remain mysterious so i'm getting kind of like this person's going to be attracted to you and when they come back in i think you may be tempted to jump into something or you know get involved in a situation that we don't have all the information yet um it's about sticking to your boundaries okay like we're i think we're definitely going to be like oh yeah they're back you know stick to your boundaries doesn't mean shut them out it just means move slowly and um take things day by day don't you know just be like yep come on in and i mean you may but if you don't want the same situation to repeat itself boundaries okay so that's going to be your reading aquarius i hope that it resonated if you do if it did i can't fucking talk today feel free to like share and subscribe and i hope you have a great rest of your day